we are building an intelligent workshop assistant. Unfortunately, most industrial robots are fast, dumb, and dangerous. We would like to be able to take our UR5 down to a local manufacturer, deploy it, and use it to assist the people working there in a variety of different tasks. In addition, a layperson should be able to interact with the robot and teach it how to perform new tasks, all without writing any new code. As an example, let's think about teaching a robot to help out by vacuuming while a user drills holes in a part and then cleaning up afterwards. When the robot sees the user pick up a drill, it will grab the vacuum and get ready. The robot will wait until the user starts drilling. Then, when it sees that the drill is over the vise, it will move in with the vacuum and suck up any metal shavings to keep the workplace clean. This will continue until the user has drilled and reamed all the holes in the part that he's working on. To do this, the robot must be able to detect and respond to the user's actions in different situations. When he's done, the user can take out the drill bit, set down the drill, and just let the robot clean up. The system will use its perceptual capabilities to locate the tools and return them to their positions on the shelf, regardless of where they are on the workspace. Now, all of this sounds really nice, but how do we build such a system, and how do we provide it with the information that it needs in a reusable way? First, we need to teach the robot object manipulation skills. To this end, we represent robot skills as a set of probabilistic feature observations, which can be learned from expert demonstrations. We used complex dynamic simulations of robot tasks, such as this structure assembly task, to first demonstrate robot skills. We search for trajectories likely to produce the same feature observations in order to complete the task in a totally different environment. In this example task, the robot's trying to mate a link and a node together to build a larger structure. Mate points are shown in red and blue, and the trajectory search by which the robot adapts its skill to a new environment is shown in purple. Now we can show the robot how to perform complex tasks in the real world by interacting with it and just providing some demonstrations. Here, a user is showing a robot how to use a sander by picking up a specially designed tool collar. A major advantage of this approach is that it allows us to teach the robot more abstract goals. For instance, we might want to teach the robot that after it grabs the sander, it should lift it up over the vise without care as to the exact position that the drill ends up in. Of course, this approach is also capable of very precise movements, such as grasping a particular position. We have also developed an interface that allows the user to create complex task plans, specifying components and individual robot skills to be performed in combination. This interface allows the user to specify both the actions that must be performed and the conditions on those actions. It provides the necessary connection between perception and skill learning allowing us to specify which objects and which landmarks are necessary for the successful performance of each skill. Specifying conditions allows users to create events for complex collaborative task plans, such as when the user held the drill over the vise in the vacuuming example. So now we can teach our industrial robots everything they need to know about how to clean up after their human co-workers. Of course, now that the robots are so good at cleaning up, they can get a little carried away sometimes. It makes it a little hard to get any work done around here.